Hi there. Um, nice surprise, this one. I alerted my brother, uh, Cajun. I've got a twin brother called Cajun. He lives in Northern Ireland. And uh, I alerted him to a game, Ancient Terrible Things. Missed it on Kickstarter. Um, seen it for sale at IG UK, Infinity Games in the UK. Uh, put him onto it, he said, because it said it looks right up your street for the family. Good pulp horror game, unusual looking. And uh, he said, are you not getting it? And I said, oh, I can't at the moment. You know, we're all kind of maxed out, really. Got a holiday to pay for and stuff. And uh, this just turned up today. He um, he uh, he got it as, as a present, just as a, a, nice, uh, a nice thing just to turn up. So... Thanks, Cade. Thanks for this. Ancient Terrible Things. Let's hope it lives up to the uh, to what it looks like uh, it can do. So, anyway, it's unusual, this one, because look at this. Look at the box art. Ancient Terrible Things, like Pulp Horror. Um, it's uh, designed by Simon McGregor with this fantastic artwork by Rob Van Zeel, or Zyl, Z-Y-L. Um, it's produced by uh, Pleasant Company Studios, PTY Limited, uh, from Cape Town in South Africa. Um, of course, it's 2014, it's just come out, plays two to four in around about 60 minutes for ages 14 plus, and the category is horror mythology. Uh, the mechanics are dice rolling, push your luck, sack collection, and hand management. Um, so there we go, you're an intrepid ex uh, adventurer exploring a dark jungle river in Africa. So let's have a look. Let's open up this baby and let's see. First things first, the box is a nice size. It's not, so we're obviously not got these huge boxes full of air. I like that. The box itself, it's got a very nice smooth matte finish on it and it's heavy. It's, it's a good heavy box which is good. Um, it says the history of that doomed expedition is shrouded in whispered rumour. A group of adventurers set out by riverboat deep into a remote jungle in foolish pursuit of fortune and glory. The battered journal of the lone survivor said to contain fantastical scribblings of ancient secrets and terrible things awakened was soon consigned to the sanatorium furnace. Pleasant Company Games. Ancient Terrible Things is a casual pressure look pulp horror Dice game for two to four players ages 14 and up in which you play the role of, of an intrepid adventurer exploring a dark jungle river for ancient secrets. Each turn you will travel to a fateful location and attempt to overcome an ominous encounter using a combination of rolled dice as well as tokens and cards. Succeed and you add the encounter your ancient secret score to your ancient secret score pile. Fail and you unleash a terrible thing which counts against your score at the end of the game. And there's a lot of stuff in the game, so let's have a look. Here we go, my favourite. Let's open this up. Good, strong, nice, totally different box art, isn't it? Brilliant. So here we go, first thing first. We've got the game manual here. Nice, glossy and smooth, good quality. Here we go. Hopefully it's nice and easy to, uh, to learn. Good illustrations here, set up, set up of the game, big jewel spread, that's nice. A look at the artwork, oh, can't wait. Turn overview, there we go. I read, I read somewhere on the Geek that somebody's saying this is the best thing since Alien Frontiers, well, uh, if that doesn't get you stoked, nothing will. So, there we go, good manual there. Player, player mats, player sheets, let's have a look. Decent quality. Even on the back, it's not just finished. It's got like a washed out bit with some sort of printing on the back. And they're a nice, decent quality. Decent thickness. Uh, turn sequence, location actions, places to put your tokens. And which character you are. Obviously the blue character, the prospector. The orange character, the heiress. Uh, like a purple character, the journalist. And green is it looking by this the captain? Okay, there we go. So it plays four players. Sticker sheet for the tokens, and we got a big ancient terrible things sticker here itself. I'm not 
not sure what that goes on, but obviously we'll find out. There we go. And uh, enough to put the stickers on twice, so you can do both sides of the tokens. Now let's go to, to some token sheets, couple here. Um, we've got the matte tile here. Let's see how these come out and what quality they are. Quite hard, none of that soft stuff, they're pretty hard. Looks perfectly centralised on the token, the print, which is always nice, isn't it? Nothing worse than offset printing. And look at the swirls here, they're all dead centre. Take one out, there we go, come out nice and clean. That's good. Punching out nice and easy, which is what we want, isn't it? So there we go, the sheet there. The book one here, yeah, good quality tokens. That's good. Partly falling out. It's what we want. Now we come to the game board. Let's have a look. Let's uh, see what this uh, this game board's like. So it's clean on the back, black, nice tape brown game board, good quality, four fold. Let's have a look. <laughs> Reasonably large still. I'd heard people saying, oh, well, the game board's not too large. There we go. One little bend the other way. I do that with most boards now, and it's sitting nice and flat, which is good. Ancient terrible things. Oh, you just look at the artwork on there. It's like, you know, it is pulp horror, isn't it? It's great. I love the, uh, the logo there, Ancient Horrible, Terrible Things. And we've got a cursed shrine here. Ghastly Gorge here with like a bridge disappearing into the mist. The Sinister Chateau. You wouldn't want to spend a night in there, would you? You've got the Yawning Chasm. The Rusted Gun Sloop. Like an old little ship in the Jungle River. The Crumbling Ruin. The Riverboat and the Trading Post. And here we've got Rumours. These are for the card decks. Token goes up here, doesn't it? The Expedition Track. We've got Rumours deck. There's a place for cards here, we've got a swag deck, it's sort of like a yin yang token there, we've got feet discard and some like with a skull and crossbone on the top. Well not the crossbone actually, just the skull. So look into the box further. We've got a nice box insert here, printed out box insert, nice big thick chunky tokens. Card deck here. Another card deck. Some fantastic dice, nice like um, dual dice, uh, see-through clear dice, and a couple of baggies. There we go. Right, let's have a look. So here are the player pieces. The nice, about double the thickness of say the standard Agricola <coughs> ones. And we got the orange, purple, green, and blue. And they're, gonna, they're very nice. And obviously, got the stickers to put on those. Dice themselves. They're pretty nice, aren't they? Look at those. A nice clear dice, see through dice, with uh, proper indentations and a good job on those. Very nice. We've got the green dice. The red dice, blue dice, and yellow dice. I think you can, um, from what I can gather from a quick look at the uh, about the game, you can manipulate your dice and use different numbers by getting tokens and resources and all that sort of stuff. Right, let's have a look at uh, some decks of cards here now. These are split into two decks, but I think there's about the four or five different decks in the game, different things. Let's have a look. So that's that yin yangy sort of token, isn't it? Oh, look at the artwork. Smooth Talker, Harbinger, Trailblazer, Arcane Insight, Steely Gaze, Pure Charm, Fresh Approach, Follow the Signs, Brave Face, Prospector, Break the Fever. There we go. So they obviously go there. We've got the skull, like a screaming skull with all the, the fire coming from it. Oh, in different colours. There's a red one. Alien carcass. 
digger's claim, like an old skeleton held in a box, sealed portal, amazing artwork, just brilliant. Book of un Unspeakable Truth, wow. Forgotten Ordnance, Thing From Below, The Doctor, you don't want him operating on you, The Colonel, Pilot's Twisted Fate, Crash Plane, Deranged Cult. Oh. And that deck, we've got like an orangey coloured skull, and then a green. These for the players. Maybe, yeah, look red. No, maybe not. We'll find out. This is for advertisement Grim Heroes. Advertisement for another game, isn't it? Treasure cards. Have a look at this next deck. Card quality is brilliant. Really nice. Everything, everything. The quality of the game is just really, really good. And we got this. Look at the the river coming through here. Deepest, darkest Africa. Tropical am amnesia. Let's have a look at the back of these. So we've got the swag. I suppose these are the good things, I would hope. Swag normally does mean that, doesn't it? Your camera, matchbooks. So these are things to help you by the looks of it. Serum, gramophone, gas lamp, utility belt, machete, always handy in the jungle, dynamite, shooter. There we go. Hook and rope, talisman. Skeleton key. There's some swag there. Let's have a look further. Are oh, these scenario cards? Have you set up different scenarios, can you, for the game? There's four different scenario cards there. More of these yin yang cards. There we go. Swift decision, tropical amnesia, short fuse, giant leap. You can see massive stroke, Tinker Taylor, wrong turn, dreadful omen. Look at it, it's absolutely gorgeous artwork. Cards themselves, nice fit quality, nice and smooth. They don't really need need uh, any sort of sleeving at all. Don't know, might sleeve them yet, I don't know. Depends how much handling they get, but they're a nice fit, good quality card. So, all in all, look, there you go. That's terrible, ancient terrible things. Looks absolutely terrific. Two thumbs up. Thanks for watching. So there you go, I put the stickers on the tokens and punch the boards and uh, look, there's a lot of stuff there, a lot of game there. There we go, ancient terrible things, what's the worst that could happen?